Hey guys, 2020 Eagle Man here with yet another video effects video editor tutorial. Uh, today we are doing the puzzle video effect. Now the puzzle video effect is very misleading. The title says puzzle and sometimes you think, oh I don't want puzzle pieces all over my video. But it's very misleading, I'm about to show you that. So, let's go into here, grab a quick clip, let's grab, uh, I suppose this guy, yeah, why not. Let's go into our video effects, grab the puzzle effect, drag it down here, and we can do some work, zoom in there. There we go. So as you see right away when you put the puzzle effect down, it of course adds the puzzle. And say, so, you know, if you're first testing this out, you're probably thinking, I don't want puzzle pieces all over it. However, if you actually dive into what the puzzle effect is, there's some really cool effects you can do with it. What the puzzle effect is, is actually just a bunch of tessellations. Um, as you can first see, of course, you get the mask, which is in pretty much the majority of the video effects. You know how to do those already. But the type here, that's what's interesting to me, is it's not just puzzle pieces. It's also squares hexagons, diamonds, um, more puzzle pieces, my bad, bricks, triangles, and diagonal bricks, which is really cool, I think, because you can add some cool effects to it. Um, I never used the puzzle piece just because I saw it was puzzle pieces, and it didn't interest me. But when I actually started testing with it, I noticed there were other tessellations in here, which is really cool to me. So I'm going to use, I suppose we can use this honeycomb pattern. So if we zoom out, uh, if you increase the size, of course, you can um, get a larger scale of the tessellation. When you decrease it, you get um, more uh, more of the shapes in it. So really cool. Um, use the honeycomb here. And the fade in, fade out is not what I expected. When you fade in with it, it just fades in like a regular image and fades out like, like a regular image. It doesn't actually add the pieces in by one, like I was expecting at least. And so, you know, everything like this, puzzle pieces, you can add a lot to it. But yeah, pretty cool. Let's add a mask to it. Why not? Zoom in like that. And add a nice little thing like that. And so there we go. This is the puzzle video effect. Again, not much to it. Fades in, fades out. It just adds a tessellation pattern over your video effect. Uh, you can, Of course, you can do some cool things with this, like generate a mask over a certain part of your video clip, or just apply it to your whole video, like a nice honeycomb pattern add a nice cool threatening effect to it. Really cool animation. Uh, I don't really use this much just because it was misleading for the puzzle but now that I've experienced the the different tessellations that I might start using it more often. So yeah hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Sorry for it's a little short but again it's the puzzle one. Not much to it so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this. There'll be plenty more to come and I will see you guys later.